Hey guys, so on today's video I'm going to show you how I made this cement table. And the first thing that I did was put plastic on the floor. You can buy the professional plastic that's like really big and a lot easier, but I forgot it at work. So I just ripped four plastic bags and laid it on the floor so that I can make my mess there. My dad is the one that told me I should do that because cement is quite messy. And honestly, I'm really glad that I listened to him because it is going to get really, really messy. Anyways, uh, so I knew that I wanted to be a cement table, but I didn't want it to fully be cement because I didn't want the table to be heavy. I have two dogs and they're really wild. They always like run around and chase each other. I didn't want them to hit the table and then get hurt or for the table to fall on them. So I thought if it was the wood, which would make it a lot lighter, if it falls on them, they won't get hurt. Also, the Roomba tends to hit some of my furniture sometimes. So I thought maybe with the wood making it lighter, the Roomba could just like push it around and not actually chip out the cement. But yeah, so we are going to make the wood frame first and I'm not professionally making this I didn't look it up on how to do it I was just like okay I think this would work I made a little sketch before I purchased any of the items which they will all be listed in the info box and I also put links to where I got things which most of the stuff I got at Home Depot but you can also get it at Walmart or at Lowe's or Amazon some of the stuff the wood I think just Home Depot would be best <laughs> um, also if you don't have any tools to cut the wood you can get it cut at Home Depot I don't know about Lowe's or the other places but there if you just take the wood to the guys and give them the measurements that you wanted to be cut to then they'll do that for you which was really good tip because not everybody has the tools to do it um, I took the tools that you see me use in this video I took from my father <laughs> so if you can't do it yourself just go and ask somebody else to do it uh, but man I lost my train of thought <laughs> uh, yeah so I went to Home Depot I got a cut and now I'm putting the frame together um, I really wanted to feel like accomplished that I did it on my own. Um, so if this is not the way that you think you should be making the table, then feel free to look up other videos or ask somebody else to help you or just look it up. I don't know what to tell you. So this is how I made it. I make sure that I put enough uh, like beams, I guess you can call them, on the sides and the center of the t of each side, like the top and the left and the right side so that it wouldn't warp around because the cement will be heavy. I also got, I guess you can call it chicken wire and I put it on top. I did film that, but somehow the video is not showing in here. So I'm just gonna talk about it. So this is, I think a week later after I originally built it cause I asked my dad to help me out. I was having a really hard time because the table was warping a bit and I didn't know what to do. Also, once my husband came home and saw that the table was that tall, he's like, nah, it's too tall for our uh, couch. So my dad came over and helped me, or not helped me, he did it. <laughs> we helped him. Uh, but I, if you can see here, he cut the table legs so that it would be shorter. Uh, so he did take the table apart for some parts and then he rebuilt it because he had to cut him and he couldn't just use the saw right there um i think on this part he actually does use the saw but obviously he professionally does this for a job so he would be better than me to do it i am very accident prone so i did not feel comfortable at all using a saw and i didn't want to go back to home depot and ask them to do it and take all this apart because i'm pretty sure they wouldn't do that for me so i just asked my dad to come over and do that for me this is me with my effort see my husband had to come in and do it because i was terrified i was like i don't even want to hold it <laughs> i really was terrified um anyway so he cut the um the legs the extra axis and then he puts those little clip things so that when he is drilling the or putting the legs together like this wood and the beam together it doesn't move around because I had that issue when I first put the table together I would hold it with my hands and then as you're drilling in it moves a little bit and then you f 
fuck up and have to start all over. So he did that so that it wouldn't move when he's drilling it, which might actually help you out if you choose to do a table like this yourself. And then this is my niece. She likes to help out. And I told her how I really wanted to have a table that I could say, hey, I made that. So she's like, I want to help too. And so she was helping my dad. And honestly, I was really tired at this point. So I was like, yeah, yeah, you go help dad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then right now he's taking the measures because we had to put that beam in the middle because there is no support in there. And he said that once we put the cement, it was going to warp in the middle. Also, there is some leftover wood from what he cut. And he was making some little triangles to put on the side corners, on the top side corners so that it would also give it a little bit more support because he said the way that I chose to make the table was not the best. But hey guys, look, I've never done this before. I tried my best, okay? And my thought process was if I mess it up, I mess it up. <laughs> but anyways, as you see here, right here, there, we're making the cement right now. So we just did the water and the cement. We didn't know what ratio to do. So we just put a bunch of cement and then water and cement and water until we finally got kind of like a grainy texture so it can be too runny but it can be super hard kind of just like as long as you can like squeeze it with your hand that's kind of the consistency you need and I'm not sure if you guys can tell but there is chicken wire on top of the table so you put it on the wood and then you staple it you can get the staple Walmart for like 10 or 5 dollars depending on how good you want the quality of it but I think the one we got was five dollars so you just do that and it also helps not just okay so the main reason my dad said to get that was so that it would help the table be more stable since I didn't correctly build it it would help it be stable and it wouldn't warp and also what I found was that it was a lot easier because on the inside we didn't put the chicken wire and it was a lot harder for the cement to stick to the wood. It took us twice as long. But on the outside where we did put it, it came out a lot way more. It came out way more smooth and it was easier to apply the cement. We also didn't want to take forever. So we didn't like do like the top, let it dry it, and then the side and then let it dry. We just kind of did the whole outside in one go. And then took a break, ate, and then did the inside. I'm not going to show you all of the process of putting the cement because it's pretty much the same thing you're seeing right now. It's very repetitive. Also, my camera died and I was, I had cement everywhere. I was like, I'm not about to <laughs> try to go wash myself and then re-record. Um, I'm also going to show you the finished product. Uh, but I wanted to show you pretty much everything that I did and the mess ups that I did. I wasn't sure at the beginning if I should show you when I built it, but I thought, why not? You know, we all make mistakes. <laughs> and the last steps is to apply a protective coat on the cement so that it doesn't crumble or chip away. I will put the information on where to get it and what kind I recommend. Also, the one that I use in the info box below. So the reason why you want to apply this protective coat is because if you don't, the cement will chip away as time goes. And then also if you set a cup and you know how like the liquid sometimes sweats a little bit, it, the cement will absorb it. Um, so definitely get that. It looks a little bit like milk and you just apply it with a brush. I was going to put the video here, but for some reason my video is not working anyways um yeah i definitely recommend that and that's it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up like and subscribe if you haven't already bye guys